Welcome back, Jayhawks fans, to over 50. Before I start this video, I just want to start out uh, by mentioning that uh, Bill Self Sr., father of Bill Self, Kansas head basketball coach, passed away at the age of 82 today. Um, this is no doubt uh, a difficult time for Coach Self. So I just wanted to take a moment, have a moment of silence. And hopefully, Coach Self, uh, uh, you know, he, he, has, he has my sympathy. I'm sure he has the sympathy of all the fans. Hopefully, uh, he can uh, get through this time. And, uh, um, you know, I'm sure he's got a strong support network. But uh, my heart goes out for him or goes out to him. And, um, you know, with that being said, um, let's take a look at tomorrow's opponent, Kansas State. The Jayhawks. Um, currently are atop the Big 12 Conference, as you can see, with a record of four and one. Kansas State are the cellar dwellers at two and four, 10 and seven overall. Kansas is basically, they played one less game than Baylor. So since they have only lost one game by virtue of that, they are the top team in the conference. But you could argue that Baylor is easily as equal a team, if not possibly better than Kansas. It'll definitely be a, an interesting game when those two go at it, both uh, at Fog Allen and uh, at Baylor. But looking at this game a little bit closer, ESPN has the Jayhawks as 75% uh, chance of winning this game. Uh, the Jayhawks are still led by Abaji, whose average dropped to 19.9, down from 20 after that 10-point game at Oklahoma in which he was he injured his wrist. I've tried to do some research on that, and the the latest that or the last I was able to find was Bill Self talked Wednesday uh, after the game and mentioned that there was no fracture. So because there was no fracture, that's why Bashi was able to come back. He said it's a sprain. He said he's not going to go into detail on it, which is typical coach Self. He said though if it was a fracture, he wouldn't really know what to do because Abaji is that important to the team, and we all kind of know that. So. Hopefully Abaji heals well. He also went on to say that Remy Martin, he thinks Remy was trying to do just too much and he was trying to do too much too quick. Maybe he was trying to play too quickly. Um, and he said the reason why he didn't go to Remy in the second half is he felt the guys on the floor gave the team the best chance to win. So I can kind of, I kind of concur with that. Remy just didn't look like typical Remy. I think he just needs to, you know, get another game or two under his belt after this come, coming off this injury, and hopefully he'll be back to his normal self. Coach Self said that no one mentioned anything to him about the knee hurting or anything along those lines. So it sounds like Remy is probably good to go from a health standpoint. Uh, taking a closer look at Kansas State, you look at their stats. They have three scorers that play 28 minutes or more. Nigel Pack. Marquise Noel and Mark Smith, all guards. If you look at Kansas State, they don't have a center on their team. They've got several forwards. So I'm expecting Kansas State to play kind of small, small ball, maybe try to take advantage of David Robinson, possibly maybe get him out of position, um, you know, pull him away from the basket so that their guards can drive and, you know, distribute or dish the ball as they need to. Um, Kansas State, if you look at their schedule, they're kind of a really tough team to figure out. You know, they they beat up on teams like Florida A&M and Omaha. They lose to Arkansas and Illinois. They beat up on North Dakota, Albany. The win at Wichita State, I got to give them some props there. That was, I mean, that was a decent win. Um, lose to Marquette, beat Green Bay, Nebraska, and McNeese. So, you know, they look like a team that, you know, they can beat beat up on the weaker teams, but when they play a team that's – you know, a stronger team, you know, they don't hold up very well. The game at North Florida was canceled due to the coup. Then they lost four in a row. They lost at Oklahoma. They lost at home to Texas. They lost on the road at West Virginia. And then they lost at home to TCU. Then after that four-game losing streak, they play, they host Texas Tech. They beat Texas Tech, you know, 62 to 51. And then they go to Texas and pull out a win. So, Kansas State is coming into this game with some momentum, so they are at home. So Kansas should not take this team lightly. 
but I definitely think that Kansas can win this game. So if you stayed this long, if you would, please hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, comment, drop them down below and uh, share this video with your friends out there. And um, before I go, Jocks fans, let's just, uh, I'll say a prayer for Coach Self and hope that he gets this uh, difficult time as well as anybody could possibly hope for or, or, or handle. Um, I know Coach is a strong guy and I'm sure he'll, He'll be fine, but this has got to be tough on him. So uh, until next time, uh, say a prayer for Coach Self and Rock Chalk.